Hello, this is a Keycloak tutorial on setting up two-factor authentication using one-time passwords and Google Authenticator. In this tutorial, you will learn how to require one-time password when a user logs in, and you'll learn how to set up Google Authenticator to do the login. To run this demo, you need to bring up the Keycloak server, and you're going to be logging in as the admin user. So let's do that right now. So let's log in as admin. Go to the admin console here. So um, to require two-factor authentication, you need to do this at the realm le level. We're going to do this with the Keycloak admin realm. You're going to have to, do, but you're going to have to do this with every single realm you want to set up two-factor authentication with. So go to the settings of the realm you want to configure and click on the credentials link. What you're going to see here are required user credentials. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to click on this box here and you'll see two options. We'll click on TOTP and click save. Now any users that log into the Keycloak admin realm will be required to log in with uh, Google Authenticator with a one-time password. So let's log out of the admin console. Now when I log in with the admin console, it's going to bring up a sc screen requiring me to set up my two-factor authentication. So you see we have a message when, when I log in uh, it says your account is not enabled, you need to set up Google Authenticator. So you're going to need uh, an iPhone or an Android device, and you're going to need to download the Google Authenticator application. And the great thing about the iPhone or an Android device that has scanning capabilities is that you can scan this barcode here. If you can't seem to scan the barcode, you can enter in, the, in, the, enter in this key manually. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, I'm adding in an account. I'm clicking on scan barcode in my iPhone and now I have scanned it in and it has loaded up. So after you've done that you have to you have to test your one time password so we'll do that right now. I enter it in, click submit, and now I have one time password enabled. That's it. That's all you have to do. Thank you for watching this tutorial.